In this video, we're going to look at how you sort arrays. Now, in a lot of languages, sorting arrays can be a little bit cumbersome, but of course Ruby has given us some really awesome tools to mess around with the ordering of an array. So let's create an array, and we'll start off with something simple here. Let's start off with something that's not, it's integer, but it's not in order. So you can see it didn't reorder, it kept the order that I asked for. So if I do xsort, it's went ahead, and as long as these elements are comparable to each other, in other words, if they're all integers, it'll be fine. If they're all strings, it'll be fine or whatever. But they have to be comparable to each other. I can simply call x the array name x and the method sort, and it's going to return a new sorted array to me. Now if I want to see the original x isn't changed. If I want to have that change it, I call that and now x has been changed. So I added that exclamation mark on the end and that actually changes the object. And really what it does is it creates a new array and copies that sorted one into that new array and then assigns x to it. It's kind of doing that in the background, but you don't need to worry about it. You can just use that exclamation mark and be set that it's actually changing that like that. Now, what if we had something that wasn't, you know, you had an array where you had different one, say, two, three, this, that, and we called sort on that. Oops, what did I, oh, I got an extra, I need a comment. So now x is, is this array here, and let's call x sort and see what happens. Whoa, it didn't like that, why? Well, it's, it's pretty clear here. It says the comparison of a fixed num with a string failed. It just cannot compare the two. Now, I could have it do a block if I want. So I can actually give it my own custom sort method if I want. And how I do that is go ahead and open a block up here and do x, y, and then we'll do essentially we'll do x and we want the comparison operator, which we haven't looked at a whole lot. I got my closing bracket there. And that isn't going to entirely fix it because it's a comparison of two classes that's failing. So what I need to do is convert one to a string or the other. So the easiest thing to do is call to string on both of them. So now I know they're strings. And if we call to string on a string, we're just going to get that string back. And let's see what it gets us. Well, I'm not sure what you'd get, you know, as far as the 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 sort order being legitimate but it certainly has sorted it where you get the integers properly going and ascending and you have the strings in a properly ascending order but let's let's try something a touch more maybe a little bit more realistic it's kind of hard to come up with some examples that aren't kind of simplistic but let's try here So there you go, I got 1, 3, 8, and 2, but 3 and 8 aren't integers, they're strings. So we'll set that up and you say, okay, I got two integers and two strings. Let's call our x sort with that block in there again. And so what we're doing is we're taking two of these elements, putting them in x, y, this block, and then comparing them. And then the sort method is using this, is yielding to this block and using it to compare as it w works its way through the array. So there we go that properly sorted it as a string. Let's change this and see if we can convert it to integers and compare those. And it should work as long as those elements are all have some kind of integer value. Well, that one didn't work at all. It just killed our whole sort thing there. So something obviously went horribly wrong in that one. Let's make sure x is still there. No, it's actually gotten rid of our whole x in that case. Let me get x back again. So there's x. So it really doesn't like this. Oh, I see what I did here. That, well, that shouldn't have an effect. Let's change this to just to be careful and try that. There we go. I think it was getting caught up with that X, me using X in two different ways there. So I changed it to A and B. So again, it's combining those up, sending them in. It actually took that value out of here and converted it to the X and set X to that. 
instead of doing what I want. So this is a little bit better view of what I was trying to accomplish. So I, I changed these to an array to compare them. You'll notice the original values didn't get changed just when they got compared and it's sorted properly. So that's sorting in Ruby.